praise and adore the Lord, for today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. And the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name who were not born nor not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory us of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received, grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, the beginning of the Gospel, of the Holy Gospel according to John, brings us something very, very special. Some words about the Word. The Word of God. The unspoken Word of God, eternal and everlasting. The Word which created the whole world. Everything what is, what has been, and what will come. Everything what we have, and everything what we are, who we are, everything comes from Him. God spoke His word, and everything was created. This word of God is given also us. Therefore, in every holy mass, in every worship, in every prayer, we read from the gospel, from the word of God. 
But this unspoken word of God which created everything, also human race, you and me, this word of God wanted to be with us, to share our life, to be a part of this created world. So God decided that this word of him, the second person in the most holy trinity, his only begotten son, will become man. God chose the most blessed and pure Virgin Mary and prepared her through all the graces to become mother of this world, mother of God. God sent his angel Gabriel, with only one question to Mother Mary. Would you like to be the mother of God? And she said, yes, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be, let it be done according to your word. And so Mary became blessed with the word of God, filled with grace. She became mother of Jesus, the only one person in the whole world chosen by God and filled with immaculate graces. Christmas Day, we celebrate the birth of this word of God. Christmas Day is Jesus' birthday. The word became flesh and dwelt among us shared this life, human life, in everything. And so, today on this Christmas day, we celebrate the coming of this word to us. Therefore, this beautiful liturgy today, in every prayer, in every word, we see how the word of God is reaching us. Jesus Christ is now with us. Here in the liturgy, in the most holy sacrifice of the Mass, and also in your everyday life. Jesus came to us to stay with you and me. This is what we receive in this Holy Mass and in every Eucharist, the blessing of word eternal, the blessing of Jesus Christ who shares our life forever. Christmas Day is the day of many changes in our life because nothing is as it used to be. God came to this world to stay with you. With the blessing and the end of this holy mass you will be filled with grace with the grace of baby Jesus and you will be invited to bring these graces and blessings to your homes and families this is our Christian faith which shows us the most beautiful sight of our God humble, silent God is with us. And indeed, in our everyday life, in all the struggles and problems we have in this world, we are now blessed with this power of God, with his light. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the light in our sanctuary, the light on Christmas trees, the light in the church, it's a symbol and picture of life eternal. Everything what is dark in this world can be enlightened and blessed and changed. So let us celebrate this birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go to him and join Mother Mary and Joseph in this worship because Jesus Christ is now with us. Baby Jesus brings blessing and light for you and me.
Today we are celebrating the mystery of the incarnation, so coming of the word of God to us. It's a sign of our Christian Catholic faith in the profession of faith that the words and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. We all kneel today as a sign of worship and our prayer.